Hi everyone. In this episode, we're going to look at command controls, chat GPT integration, and you can expect more and more AI integration as our product develops. Let's get started. First of all, I'm just going to pick a machine. In this case, I'm going to pick this VMware VDI machine. I'm just going to connect to this. Okay. So I want to delve in a little bit deeper. So I'm going to go to task manager. I'm going to go to processes. What you see here is a list of all the processes running on this machine. And you'll notice there is a chat GPT logo beside them. So what I can do is I can just click on one of these, say this one here. And straight away, what that brings up is it tells me what the name of the process is, the manufacturer, and it gives me a full description of the process. I can go again and it will do the exact same thing. So what that does is it very quickly, without you having to go off and search other sources, gives you an exact description of what that process does. And also what we do is we cache all of the processes in a inventory. You're not being charged in OpenAI for each of the queries. So just on that note, to utilize this, you need to have your own OpenAI account. So you simply go and create uh, your account on OpenAI. And there's a blog post, the link below that lays out all of the details of how you do that. But just to have a look of where you then take your API key and enter, I just going to switch tenants here. If I get down to site, and you see here under site, under third party APIs, you can enter in your API key and your organization ID. Once that is entered, that then enables the ChatGPT integration. That's it. Thanks very much for watching.